All right, what's going on, everybody? Afflicted Gamer here. Welcome back to another Division Two video. It is Wednesday, January the fifteenth, two thousand and twenty, and Cassie Mendoza has made her return to the game. This is her current location, right across the street from the theater settlement. So, depending on what day of the week you watch this, Cassie could be in a different location than this. If that is the case, you need to find the snitch yourself. Sorry, I can't do that for you. After you find the snitch, speak to him and he will reveal Cassie's new location to you. But the stock will remain the same. So she has the Tabula Rasa, hopefully I'm pronouncing that properly, which is one of her named items. She's sold this a billion times already. Perfectly steady handed, stable, and stop, drop, and roll. We've got an Araldi Holdings vest here with 10% headshot damage, 14.5% crit hit chance with perfect vigilance. I 110% recommend that you guys pick this up, even if you don't use uh, marksman rifles. You could benefit from the two piece, uh, the two piece up bonus here from Araldi with the headshot damage, the crit chance, the perfect vigilance alone. So either way, I would pick this thing up. Shield Splinterer is back yet again for whatever reason. Now, I've asked you guys to let me know what you see in the com down in the comments. Other than this, uh, because I know a lot of people still don't have all of the eight ivory keys and they haven't opened up the ivory chest at the White House. Some of you have told me you see nothing. Some have said other weapons. And some say you see the Shield Splinterer despite the fact that you haven't opened up the ivory chest. So I don't know what's up with the Shield Splinterer, whether this is a bug or it's intentional. But if you see anything else, let me know. So perfectly optimist, or sorry, perfect optimist, accurate, and double duty. Ongoing directive gloves with 4% pistol damage, 6% AR damage. True Patriot gloves with 5% LMG damage, 6% marksman rifle damage. Hardwired backpack with plus 146 skill power, 4.5% weapon damage, over 22,000 armor, and vital. Negotiator's Dilemma Gloves with 2.5% health and plus 212 skill power. Tip of the Spear Holster with 7.5% crit chance and 310 skill power. Aces and Eights Mask with 6% crit chance and 27% damage to elites. I would say pick this up if you need a decent Aces and Eights Mask. The armor is quite low, but you could bump up the percentage on either the damage to elites or the crit chance. Now you could even re-roll damage to elites if you really don't want it for uh, crit hit damage. Choice is yours, but you can do a lot with that mask. We've got a Tommy gun with strained extra and double duty. That's too bad that that wasn't an MPX because those are good talents. Nice little setup. Custom M870 with fast hands, sable, and overlap. Richter and Kaiser backpack with four and a half percent crit hit chance, over 17 or sorry, 17 percent skill haste, over 9,000 health, hard hitting, and tech support. Quick question, how many of you actually use Richter and Kaiser? The way that this brand set is set up for pistol damage and uh, a shield, I'm just curious. I don't see anybody ever using this stuff. 511 mask here with 8% hazard protection, 7.5% created chance along with capacitive. Defensive protocol resilience mod with over 2,000 health, 16% shock resist, 21% burn resist. And then we've got a shield mod with 60.2% skill haze. So there you have it. That was everything Cassie has for sale this week in the Division 2. I, again, strongly recommend picking the Araldi Holdings Vest up for sure. And other than that, choices are up to you guys. You could buy any of the raid gear if you need the materials for any reason to craft uh, some better rolls. But that is about it. Now, real quick, um, the last Cassie Mendoza video I made, I did say that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the vendor resets anymore. Not her vendor reset, just the, the regular vendors. To be totally honest, I still don't know what I want to do. Like I said, the views are down dramatically. They're down on Cassie as well, but they're much worse on the actual vendors. So I don't think I will do one this week. I have to do traveling this week to go see my doctor and a few other things. So uh, that's going to have to get put on the back burner. No matter what I do in the future, I will let you guys know. At the very least, you will have the Cassie videos. And when we get episode three, there will be a few other things to cover, but... Other than that, I really don't know what to do with the game at the moment, unfortunately. So, but we'll see what happens going forward. 
Um, now, the other thing that a few people have started to mention in the comments section for the past couple of weeks is they have the idea, well, given me the idea to make a video discussing my current thoughts on the game. A state that it's in, where I think it could go or should go, things of that nature. I don't know. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know again down in the comment section. And if not, let me know that you don't. It's cool either way. I just want to get a, a bit of a grasp on how you guys feel about something like that. So, but yeah. Anyways, all right. I'm out of your agents. Have a fantastic weekend. Let me know what you think about Cassie's sock. Did you pick anything up? Did you get that Araldi vest? Or did you pass on it? Do you have a better one? I don't know. Let me know all the good stuff. I enjoy reading your comment section. All of the kind words that I got last week, thank you guys so much. It means more to me than I can tell you. Uh, I'm honestly grateful to have the subscribers that I do. You guys are fantastic. So, All right. Drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you're new for more Division 2 content. And don't forget to follow me over on Twitter at AfflictedGamer. Other than that, I will see you guys very soon in the next one.